Hey everybody, it's Simon from Lake Hub. We're out here on Lake Texoma chasing some white bass, some sand bass. The reason uh, they're called sand bass is because they'll school and they'll chase bait fish up on the beaches. They hunt in packs. So sometimes when you're drifting in the shallows, you can see them. So you can sight fish almost like you're in the Gulf Coast fishing for redfish or sea trout. You can also kind of watch the surface. Sometimes they'll pop the surface and it'll kind of look like a little bit of white water kind of one in one spot. And you don't want to blast right on through that. You want to sneak up on it and then cast through it. And if it's a feeding frenzy, you'll know. So if you find a sandbar like this, you can chase white bass and sand bass out on the lake, even in the middle of the day. Of course, uh, morning and evening is always best. Cloud cover is best. Yep. But uh, when they're hungry and they're biting, you can catch them. So if you see sandbars like this, if you see beaches, uh, as long as they aren't swimming beaches, you don't want to be throwing hooks into places where kids are swimming. But um, if you see beaches like this, this could be a great spot. Fish on. Double hookup. Yo. First ever double hookup. Yeah. Nice. One of the Sandies we're after found some striper. That is awesome. Small striper. But hey. There we go. And I hooked myself too. That's fun. Come on, big boy. There we go. Woo! Double hookup. That's fun stuff. So there we go. That's uh, fishing shallows and sandbars for sand bass or striper. Hey, just some little crappie jigs, double rig, double hookup. We're having a good time out here on the lake. Hope you do too. We'll catch you next time.